Hello friends, this is Dan Carlton, founder of the Paragraph Project and Planner U. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about observations versus insights. Uh, I think by now we all know that not every single piece of data or statistic or consumer quote or marketplace trend is actually truly an insight. Most times it's just an observation of the current state of things. That said, there is a way to take observations and turn them into insights. That's what I want to talk about today. Um, a lot of people assume that insights are something that kind of like fall out of the tree. It's just like this bolt of lightning that kind of comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden you're struck with this, this insight. Um, a lot of times insights take work and you have to take information that you're finding and really kind of put it through a process to turn that raw information into an insight. So let me talk a little bit about how you can do that. There are first a couple things that we need to make, some points that we need to make about what an insight is. So I'm going to go to the whiteboard here and uh, illustrate this for you. So the first thing is when you think about an insight, an insight should be penetrating. It should be provocative. And it should be powerful. So those are kind of like the three criteria that helps us know whether we have an observation or if we have a true insight. So let me just talk a little bit more about each of these in more detail. So when it comes to uh, penetrating, what we're really trying to figure out is like what's the why behind whatever piece of information that we have. So we might have a statistic, we might have um, some interesting um, you know, comment from a consumer that we found through a focus group or interview or what have you. And we can kind of state it at face value, but we, what we really need to do is figure out what's the why behind that. Why do they feel the way they do? Why is this trend taking place? And if we can start to articulate that, then we can start to lean a little bit more in towards uh, the world of insights and less about just a face value observation. The second idea is this idea of being provocative. So a lot of good insights actually raise more questions. So if you have this insight, what are some other questions that are kind of swirling around in your head? What are some other ways to think about it? How do you stretch that insight into new territories? And then finally, in terms of powerful, insights need to have some sort of impact on a brand or a client's business. So. The whole idea of powerful is just thinking about, you know, what does this insight make us think about in terms of how this company does business, how they interact with consumers. And if we kind of line up with this idea of, you know, an observation might just kind of give you this surface kind of level kind of what, it kind of like tells you kind of what's happening. And we need to get to this idea of why. And then after we kind of answer that question, we need to start to think about how do we clarify that insight? What are other questions that we can ask on top of that? And then finally, how do we apply that insight? So these four areas here essentially become a framework for how to take an observation and mold it into an insight. So this what here is really the observation. Okay? And then everything that falls underneath it is the areas that we explore to start to turn it into an actual insight. So this kind of gives you the whole framework, the thought behind the framework. And um, what we want to do, again, is you know, think about going through you know, focus group transcripts or looking at um, raw data or looking at trend reports, whatever it is. As you're going through that process of analyzing information, anything that's interesting that jumps out at you you essentially throw in this what box. So super specific, what's you know, one specific statistic, 
what's one really interesting quote that really jumped out and kind of stuck with you? And you want to kind of articulate that very simply in the what. What are we seeing? And then from there, we want to think about why is that happening? And the important reason that we're asking this question is a lot of times the information that we gather on face value is not really an insight. It takes the analysis of a skilled strategist, researcher, or planner to start to connect the dots and start to understand why are people feeling this way? Why is the market shifting in this direction? So this is where your own expertise and your own analysis comes into play, is really articulating the why. Why are people feeling this way? And once you start to understand that, that why, then you start to think about, well, what other questions does this raise? And that's where you get to this area of clarifying. So you can think about, well, if you know, there's some um, kind of specific statistic about Gen Y, and you find that interesting, you want to start to think about why is that? Why does that generation feel that way about this certain thing or this certain brand? Then you want to start to think about, well, what are some other things that could be contributing to this? You know, how long have they felt this way? What are some events in their lives that have kind of shaped their opinions about this brand or this experience or what have you? So you start to think about the kind of the, the observations and the, the beginning of the insight and how do you stretch that and how do you start to cut the data the different, different ways? How do you think about you know, follow-up research or other questions that you might want to ask to get kind of a deeper level understanding of the situation? And then the final piece is the, again, the apply. So how do you take all of this information and start to turn the corner and start to think about what does this mean for the brand? So how does this um, influence the style of communications that we think about or how we think about the consumer journey or how do we think about um, you know, displaying information on the packaging. What are the implications of all of this learning so far? And start to kind of document what you think the client, the brand needs to think about based on all of this information that they're gathering and how they're processing it, and how they're taking this initial observation, which again is very surface level, and starting to kind of build it out and get to an area that's a little bit more unique, a little bit more impactful, a little bit more um, relevant to your specific client or your specific brand. So this whole thing right here, we actually call like everything that's in this like dotted line area. At Paragraph, we call this an insight card. And we actually have, you know, in every conference room, we have these little kind of tablets here kind of blank tablets, lots of area and room to work where we essentially have those questions kind of framed out. So whenever we're going through research and we're starting to think about, you know, what are the implications, what does this mean for our clients, we're always thinking about this framework. How do we take this initial observation that might seem really interesting at a surface level and how do we start to build it out and add a little bit more rigor and stretch it and see if we can get it to a true insight which will move the business forward. So that's what I want to share with you today. This framework, um, again, we call these insight cards. Um, it helps you really kind of drive um, those initial observations into a richer, more kind of impactful area. Hopefully that's all helpful for you. Um, thank you for, for listening in and, and following along with this. If you have any questions, just comment below. Uh, we also have a link uh, below if you want to uh, sign up for the Planner U newsletter. Next time we come up with another framework, that will hit your inbox first, and you can be sure not to miss it uh, if you sign up for that newsletter. So thanks again for your time. Uh, until we talk again, um, appreciate you joining in and uh, look forward to sharing more stuff with you in the future. Thanks.